Hello everyone, this is Captain Gerg. It's been quite a while since I've been back on the mic, and of course, right when I start, the phone rings. So I'm going to have to do this again for the shoutcast. Hello everyone, this is Captain Gerg. Uh, it's been quite a while since I've been here, and I apologize for the phone ringing. It should be stopping here momentarily. I am bringing you this week's game of Le Week for Kane's Wrath. It's been quite a while since I've been, I think I've said that like four times at least now. Anyway, um, good god, this is a long phone. So today we have a game between our very own writer, who is an absolute god at what he does, uh, EPH289, uh, that is a reference to Ephesians 289, if you guys want to go check it out in your Bibles, um, or not, that's cool too. Anyway, um, so he's playing as, I think, Vanilla GDI, if I'm not mistaken, looks like it. Mm, yes. And uh, then we got Mark DeCane up here with Strupkoff. Strupkoff. Probably pronouncing it wrong, don't really care. In fact, German sounding, but uh, whatever. I'm playing random, you drew Marked of Kane. Map, of course, being tournament decision. So we have quick draft here from EPH along with the standard power and refinery build. Man, it's been a long time. Saying two riflemen down here. Um, one engineer, it looks like, after uh, he drafted. He just. No, never mind, he had three. So looks like he built uh, barracks, drafted that. Got two guys sent down here for southern scouting. Otherwise, no one really pressed to get their uh, spikes contested too much, so that's all good. Um, what else? Equip War Factory up for both sides, and Pitbull slash, I'm guessing, Raider are going to be popping out for scouting. Nope, Attack Bike. We're going to be seeing Attack Bike Rush. Looks like it. So, uh, Strapkoff goes for an easy... I'm going to probably pronounce that like six different ways throughout the course of this game, so enjoy. Got some good early scouting here going on by EPH. Um, that bunker is garrison. We got a middle soldier garrison here. So pretty even map control to start off with. Uh, of note, EPH did not go for this uh, second. Ooh, I don't like that. We went for his second um, spike there rather than the normal going for both. And so we see the triple bike rush coming. I believe EPH already saw that, if I'm not mistaken. Um, pretty sure he did, or maybe he didn't. Um, so now we have our second refinery up. Targeting the refinery first rather than the... We just wasted a full volley on this harvester. So that's no good. Probably going to be seeing a pitbull pop out quite soon here to be saving him. We'll be running around and whatnot. The refinery does not look like... Well, he might get the skill. Maybe, maybe not. Watchtower pops up for some sack defense. Nope, you won't be getting anything out of this. This is a very nice uh, anti-harassment going down. Doesn't even get a pitbull out. Keeps on going with the harvesters. Um... Yeah, I don't know exactly if there's another watchtower popping up pretty soon. No, it doesn't look like it. Probably going to lose at least one harvester. Yeah, oh my gosh, he doesn't. Nope, everything's still surviving. So this is a very good example of what not to do with attack bike rush. In other words, targeting multiple harvesters. He's got almost all the harvesters damaged in some amount, but did not get a single kill on them. Instead, lost one bike, almost lost both of them. That rush was completely ineffective. Um, so in the end... Don't do that. Oh, we have more attack bikes coming, however. Let's check out the economy. He's at two grand. EPH is, is at almost nothing, however. Um, let's see here. Doesn't... Okay, they both have two refineries out in terms of early scouting. EPH still only has the single pit bull. It's getting gunned down by the Awakened. Or what else is happening? Let me see. Not too much. Both have five harvesters as of now, unless I'm mistaken. Oh, Devil War Factory coming up. We're probably going to see a Scorp... Well, Mark King doesn't usually go with a Scorp Smith, no. And it's been a long time since I've played this game. Now we're seeing a Hand of Nod come out. Interesting. Instead of quick tier 2, we went with the Hand of Nod, so we can only assume there's going to be seeing some sort of uh, support man spam along with these rocket uh, rock bikes. Attack bikes, rather. Meanwhile, EPH, also low on power. He is pretty much in the same exact boat. Getting another Harvester. I he had five. He does have five. He's going for another. He's going for a sixth. Um, oh, yeah, he's going with triple refineries on the starting field decision, which is completely fine to do, especially as he's down on economy. Now you have this nice little massive bike spam coming. And EPH has almost nothing to counter, as far as I can tell. And unless I'm completely mistaken, I'm missing something major. He has watchtowers, and that's it. So this is going to be a dead harvester very quickly. Oh, yay, a single pit bull comes to the rescue. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, the harvester's going down. That's him now, you'd think. Oh, he's got the War Factory, so a couple Predators pop out. That'd be quite helpful. Looks like that's what he's going to be doing. There we go. Here come the Predators. He's already lost three Harvesters. Yep. Third one's just about to go down, it looks like. Good night. 
However, all these attack bikes will also die. Did not retreat any. Lost all of them. Uh, interesting. I'm just trying to figure out what EPH was going for with the original uh, no second uh, Tiberium spike build there. Also, having one of these uh, center towers captured would have been highly helpful, as I always, or used to always say. God, I haven't done, done one of these in so long. Uh, looks like he's continuing this bike spam, even though uh, we have Predators out from EPH. Now, with the double, uh, double War Factory build, EPH economy is stalling quite a bit, though, with that early econ boom. Neither player has even looked to expand. Um, both have been cut up with their early game rushes. Still about half a field left for Strupkoff. Um, and, uh, and so on. He's... Awakened are going to be evicted from their garrison base for them. Nice little EMP going down there, not doing much, they're just going to be running away. Um, I'd actually like to see EPH maybe even uh, go to the top here, because no one up, oh, never mind. Yeah, Starcraft's already got that garrison. Yep, so we have rocket soldiers now coming out to counter the inevitable predators. Who are now pushing in to try to do a little bit of wrestling themselves. That is not going to fly. Just too much crap here. And all of these predators are going to die very quickly. There's some nice, lovely rocket soldier damage. Oh, we'll get a few crushes before he goes down, but he goes down nonetheless. We have an airfield out now, so we have tier 2 for stroke. Um, tier 2 is not yet here for EPH. I'm not building anything, as far as I can tell. Let's check on Econ real quick. 900, 900, about the same. Similar economies, however. Oh, yes, and Shopkov has captured a garrison, or the defensive tower in the center. Um, which is going to make things quite hard for EPH um, to both press forward with small monster predators because they die in one volley, as well as um, being able to capture one of those for his own. Uh, now we see these attack bites going around, out maneuvering. They'll be looping back up this way. Watchtower goes down. Eh, I mean, watchtowers are all right, but they're also stationary, and uh, once you're done with them, don't do too much. However, just because of the uh, massive amount of attack bikes that he's been using. Um, Keeping these areas held down to the watchtowers has been quite effective. So looks like he's going for power harassment now until he can... Uh, yep, now he's just selling and rebuilding his power until he gets those watchtowers down. Predators are going to move in. Yeah, this many bikes isn't going to be able to do much at this point. Um, don't know why EPH hasn't gone for at least some rocket infantry at this point. Um, just stationary, one or two or three squads will definitely make things harder for uh, very, very mobile, mobile attack forces of attack bikes anyway. Um, so no barracks from him, so that's a little bit curious. Still would like to see that spike get captured, that'd be quite a help. Um, as EPH has been the back foot this entire game. Um, isn't tier 2 yet? We have the airfield still. Not 100% sure what that was intended for. Um, maybe just the... Yeah, because he doesn't even have mines because he's marked Kane. Magnetic mines? Magnetic mines are great against epic units, but... Alright, so now we see the first expansion here coming from EPH, it appears. And if that MCV gets caught, that will be very bad, because it will die very quickly from all of those... Um, attack bikes. Meanwhile, we have yeah, Predator scouting just to make sure everything's going fine. We're good. So on and so forth. These attack bikes are looped around the other way. Amp Predators are going to get a few kills, but uh, wouldn't be enough to stop a full-out attack. Amazingly enough, EPH has kept at least, jeez, six, seven? A lot of freaking harvesters going. Which has kept this uh, double Predator spam going. Um, at this point, you'd like to see... Alright, he's already at tier three. Um, oh, he's tier four. Good lord. He's probably going to be seeing... A uh, Tibcor missile right lost. about here. And for those watching the Shockcast, if there are any of you, I'll put them here. Or if the Shockcast doesn't work, that would be really annoying, but uh, let's be watching the bot. Uh, yes, more Predators getting lit up, and more Dark Fox getting lit up as well, and so on and so forth. Uh, yep, nothing's gonna happen with that. This has been. Oh, EPH is not going for. Okay, I thought he might be going for. Um, uh, uh oh, there's Tiberium core detonation going down right on top of the harvesters. And you'll see my screen lag like crazy. Loses one, loses an APC and a harvester, it appears. That was not very well placed. Would have gone with a tip core missile right there. Um, definitely damaged the, the predators quite nicely. Meanwhile, we have the expansion. Some, somewhat more of a forward expansion than uh, you'll see usually on decisions. Kind of an aggressive push while well, we have a more. Uh, kind of passive expansion here from Strope. And let's see here, middle is still garrisoned very heavily. There's a Tiberium core missile, probably going around right there. Ooh. See, I would have gone right, I think he could have gotten both refineries with that. He could have, yeah. He went safe and put it right on top of the one refinery, but he could have placed it, I don't know, like right here. It's got a decent area of effect. That would have gotten both. So, uh, 
Well, nevertheless, that's still annoying when Refinery's down. However, seeing as how this whole field is pretty much gone, it's not as annoying as it would have been if he had waited until EPH had gotten up his second Refinery. And, uh, right there. There we go. And, uh, and then had, had taken that down with the tip core. That would have sucked, because then there would have been no source of, uh, income for EPH at the moment. Who is calling once again? Really? Okay. Uh, Alright, so now I have more rifle infantry coming down. Still kind of interested in the lack of... One, tech from EPH. Two, from uh, infantry. Infantry could definitely have been doing um, a lot of good here. Um, however, the Mark of Cain infantry they uh, awakened are extremely good anti-infantry encounters. Um, arguably better at sheer anti-infantry than even um, the Pesquival squads of the Black Hand, um, if not more expensive. Okay, so now we're going Vertigo, so I guess that's why I got the early airfield up. This will be ugly. Love Vertigos, by the way. Absolutely love them. There's no stealth detection. Still in Tier 1. Um, so the vertigos are going to absolutely massacre these predators. Very nice. Could have been a lost con yard uh, if it wasn't for these uh, these vertigos. There we go. Now we have a barracks up. Um, EPH still has both his war factories back home. Now he looks like he's pumping out a nice combo of APCs and uh, and uh, predators. Definitely want to be seeing AP ammo at this point. There, there it is. Not researching AP ammo, but uh, it is quite expensive. Oh, an obelisk pops up. That's no good. See, this is what happens. Even though we had a quite a strong tier 1 defense from EPH, um, just not going to be able to hold off to uh, not tier tier 4 in this case. We'll quickly mark the pain, but uh, all the same. Grenadiers coming in to flush out this building. The vertigos are coming back. Obelisk is absolutely destroying. Yes, yeah, it's going to be a lot of dead predators. Nice, nice. So economy wise, if you just look at the sheer numbers of this, uh, Strope has been doing far better um, in terms of, of efficiency, um, has lost, it had no harassment on from EPH, um, the vertigos are absolutely devastating against everything that uh, EPH has to counter right now, which is pretty much nothing. Um, as for what he should be doing, like I said, infantry, rocket squads, cheap but uh, effective in this case. Ooh, yes, still have that defensive tower. So many predators have gotten thrown away. Um, shredders are up now, that was smart. Um, seeing the barracks and uh, knowing that rockets would be able to be at least a, a, a stall for, for Strope at this point. Any upgrades come in? Not apparently. Um, yep, doing more bombing. Okay, so we have a force of predators going around here trying to get into the base. Vertigos are going to get picked up by Pipple, of course. Not going to be enough to stop them. They'll probably be taking down a war factory. Or they will stupidly bomb. Oh, that was rough. See, that was in guessing. He gave them a move order right around here, so when they reach there, they're like, oh, I'm going to attack the first thing I see, which in that case was a rival squad. And uh, so rather than, than doing so. Uh, so that was unlucky. He would have taken down the refinery. Still, that refinery wouldn't have been as great a kill as this one right here. Um, no anti-air except for a few APCs, which would have done diddly um, to the vertigos. Um, now we have a massive harvester build up here. All of these are full. There is not enough refineries on the field. Uh, yes. All right. Now I have a first first time EPH has been really in a Strup's base proper anyway. Um, see a nice little attack force coming up here, getting killed. Yes, vertigos are going to bomb them in submission. Goes one, one's very hurt. Not many ground. I mean, if you look at now, Strub doesn't have any ground forces. No mobile uh, ground attack force. He's only got these vertigos, which is, of course, very mobile. But, uh, oh, he's going for the airfield. He might. Oh, that's low. Got the airfield, which is quite nice, despite Nautilus. Um, so that's good. 